So you might be trying to figure out how you can connect an external drive to your specific Android phone. Now doing this is actually very basic and whether you're on Android 13 or Android 9 or 8 or whenever it's been supported, it's a very, very basic process. Now the very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab your external drive and you want to take a look at the end USB port of it. Now if it's a USB Type-C port, just like how it is on your charging port down here, then you can just plug it into the bottom and then you're pretty much good to go. But if you have an external drive with this type of USB type A port, what you're going to want to do is grab an adapter. So this is a USB type C to USB type A, you know, dongle adapter. These are very, very popular. You can get these things for very cheap. In fact, they come with a lot of boxes that you may buy of Android phones. So you probably may already have one. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab it just like so. And you don't have to buy this specific one. You can, if you have a USB Type-C laptop, you know, much like a MacBook, you probably have a dongle laying around that's something similar to this. And you can pretty much use it that way too. So now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and plug in your specific external drive to the bottom of your specific phone, just like this. Now you might see something come up on your specific Android phone, or you might see your external drive actually power up. So you can see in my case, my external drive is powered up. So now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make your way over to your files application if you have one. So make your way over to your application like this, and you want to go ahead and find files. So in this case, I guess it's under Samsung, and then my files right here. And you might see allow whatever, you just want to go and click allow, and that would be that. Now you want to scroll down, and you might be able to see that there should be a little thing that comes up. Now in some cases, it might not come up. Now you may have to give it a few seconds, but you can see that after a little bit of time, you now have the ability of seeing your specific storage drive right here. So now what you want to do is you can click on it and you will be able to access your specific storage. Now keep in mind that the storage drive has to be compatible with your phone. In some cases, if you get a, like an Android phone, not every storage drive will be applicable. In this case, it is not, but it's still discoverable and you can still read files from it. So that is basically that. If you ever want to disconnect it, you can just go and click here and you can click unmount and it'll go and unplug it. Or you can just unplug it here and it'll basically go away. So that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, all that.